minus some influential players, Paul Gascoigne, Brian Laudrup and Sergio Porini are all injured. Gordon Jury's still out as well. Richard Goff is suspended, so is Stuart McCall for the first time in his Rangers career. The only bright spot is Jonas Tern's recovery from injury. In come Craig Moore and Reno Gattuso. And it's welcome back Ali McCoy for only the fifth game he started this season. He has though managed eight goals, the last of them here at Fir Park in November. He'll skipper Scotland B against Wales later this month, and he's captain here. In his last season as a top grade official is referee Bobby Tate. And in his first home game as Motherwell manager is Finnish recruit Harry Kampman. Rangers kick off. They've drawn their last three games against Kilmarnock, Hearts and Dundee. And it's vital that they hit some winning form if they're to get their way into the title challenge. Four points behind Celtic as they kick off here. And a chance for them with Celtic idle today to move to within one point of the lead. Early touch from Albert. Jonas Terra, the Tusso. Forced away from goal by Faulkner. And now closed down by Ian Ross. Duso still has it. That's for Negri. Good flick from McCoy's. Off the back of Martin's head. Across again. Almost a chance in the opening minutes. Just 45 seconds gone. And the ball just wouldn't come down quickly enough for Ali McCoy's. But he is so sharp in these sort of situations. Was going on Petric, it drops though for Valakari and a good ball over the top for Tommy Coyne. First time effort. He just had a feeling there that Andy Gora might be a few yards off his goal line and he was trying to drift this over the top. Oh, was aware Tommy Coyne of what's happening round about him. One by Christie. Christie gets it back from Davis. The pass was aimed for Tommy Coyne, but failing to find its target. Ali McCoy is getting the break of the ball off Brian Martin, shooting opportunity! Ali McCoy! His ninth goal of the season. 11 minutes gone. And how Rangers needed that. So important that they win this game to keep the title show on the road. And Ali McCoy leading from the front. His World Cup prospects are on the line at the moment. And this helps a great deal. So a satisfactory opening to the game for Rangers manager Walter Smith. Turn to Johansson. George Alberts wanting it. Jonas turned diving into the challenge against Willie Faulkner. And that's a tackle by Gattuso on Ross. And both players grounded. And already Bobby Tate reaching for his yellow card. A wild challenge from Gattuso. And Bobby Tate waiting for Gattuso to tell him that he has another yellow card to add to his collection. Already this season, ten yellow and one red for the Italian. And that's another one. And Ross will be booked as well. He caught Gattuso with his studs in Gattuso's chest. Although I'm not quite sure how much malice there was involved in that, but it's yellow for Ross as well. Alberts trying to find Johansson, intercepted by Christie. That's a good ball through for Billy Davis. Davis couldn't catch the shot. What a chance that was for the equaliser. A great ball from Kevin Christie, perfectly judged, and Billy Davis knows he should have made more of this. McCoy's beaten by Greg Denham in the air. Turns header finding Albert. McCoy's flicks it for Gattuso. Marco Negri's onside. Chance for Negri. 
What a tackle that was by Brian Martin, who's furious with the assistant referee, Cami Melville, on the main stand side. That the flag wasn't up here against Marco Negri. Motherwell were looking for it, wasn't given, and Brian Martin had to get that away. The free kick, meanwhile, knocked in by Georges Alberts. The back heel from Alberts. Knocked downfield by Kevin Christie, chase on here, Tommy Coyne in behind Bjorklund, and a good run by Coyne, and a penalty kick, no it's not, it's a goal kick, the Motherwell players thought that Bobby Tate was pointing to the spot, that's the way Tommy Coyne saw it, Joachim Bjorklund made the challenge on him, but the decision goes Rangers' way. First Coyne got himself away from Bjorklund, then another spurt of pace took him behind the Swede, but Bobby Tate appears to have got that absolutely right. Craig Moore trying to let that run, but it just skimmed off the top of his head. Billy Davis sprinting over to take the ball from Millen. Albert's header, back in from Barakari. Run by Bjorkel and it drops it off. Oh, what a save from Andy Gorham. Absolutely superb, Owen Coyle struck that firmly, it looked to be heading in at the far post, and anyone who has doubts about Andy Gorham's international credentials need only take a look at that. Corner kick from Billy Davis, punched by Gorham, drops from McCullough, now Brian Martin, flashing efforts and not far away. So a real warning for Rangers in these last few minutes. Motherwell putting on some pressure and creating some chances. The long ball for Johansson. Kevin Christie climbing high for the header. Loose play from Brian Martin. Here's McCoy. Johansson, good challenge by Christie. Hurt in the process. And in turn, possession given away by Rangers. The foul by Tern and Davis. Walter Smith, meanwhile, making some adjustments down at the touchline. He's at words with Jonas Tern. That came off. Got a Petrich Lee McCullough. What a chance that was. Spaces opening up in the Rangers' defence, and opportunities are coming Motherwell's way. This was Route 1, Stevie Woods. Neither Petrich nor Coyne could get there, and McCullough couldn't keep the shot down. The loose ball picked up by Valcani, now McMillan. That's for McCullough. Knocks it down for Tommy Coyne! What an effort that was from Coyne! That would have been one of the goals of the season had it gone in. Struck on the volley by Coyne and just inches away from 1-1. Andy Gorham couldn't believe his luck as the ball bounced back into his arms. Gattuso, Negri, and now Craig Moore. The sun comes out at Fair Park. Negri's touch, Jonas Ter, Alan McCoy works it on to Johansson. In comes Craig Moore. Willie Faulkner did just enough against the Australian to usher that goal beyond the far post. But Craig Moore is a threatening figure here. Harry Kampman with Jim Griffin is number two alongside him. Well by George Alberts, got through Brian Martin. Marco Negri, onto the right foot now, Negri. And just screwed that wide of the post. 35 goals in 34 games for Rangers, but only two goals for Negri since the turn of the year. That's a disappointing return by his high standards.
cleared by Craig Moore. Greg Denham allowing the ball to bounce. Breaks for Jonas Ter. The tackle by Brian Martin, but it falls for George Alberts. And you would expect Alberts to get a shot on target from there. He certainly thinks that. This was aggressive play from Ter. Alberts way off target. Rangers trying to keep things tight as the interval beckons. They have the lead and they want to keep it. McCallum got the header as he was falling. Billy Davis to Tommy Coyne. Over the top of the goal! That's the equaliser! 30 seconds of stoppage time at the end of the first half. And just as I said, Rangers would want to keep the lead. They've lost it. It was all fairly simple as for Motherwell. Lofted up by Tommy Coyne. A slip by Craig Moore and nodded in by Owen Coyle. Well, I think Owen Coyle has felt better in terms of injury. But uh, he'll be delighted to add to his haul. That's his 14th goal of the season. And he left Andy Gorham with no chance. The flick from McCoist. Brian Martin's tackle on Albert. Jonas Tern. Albert. In from Tern. Away from Denham. Knocked down by George Albert. Back off the crossbar. This game really coming to life in the last couple of minutes of the first half. Now Alberts. And swerving away, wide of target. Ali McCoy so close to his second goal of the game. A snapshot at the edge of the box. It just wouldn't dip quickly enough. Well, what an end to the half. One goal for Ali McCoy. It could so easily have been two, but the scoreline is level at the interval because Owen Coyle struck in stoppage time just as Rangers looked as if they were going to take a 1-0 lead into the dressing room at half-time. So still a lot of questions for Rangers to answer about their title aspirations. Half-time at Fair Park, it's Motherwell 1, Rangers 1. Motherwell restart the match. A lot of preoccupation about Rangers' need for points in the title race, but Motherwell have their own desire for the points here today. Trying to steer themselves away from the relegation zone. A pensive Walter Smith on the touchline. He knows how important this 90 minutes is today. If Rangers are to have a serious chance of 10 in a row, Gordon Petrich hanging for the header, but he was climbing on the back of Lee McCulloch. Free kick, which was given again against him, is taken quickly. Here's Owen Coyle, whipped into to Tommy Coyne, with control. Billy Davis on the left foot. Struck it well at the near post, and good handling from Gorham. A good exchange there between Coyle and Coyne. Billy Davis with the snapshot, saved by Gorham. Denham to McMillan. Early ball in for Faulkner, controlled on his chest. Well struck as well. A touch too high, but a good effort by Faulkner. Good control, firstly, from Faulkner, but the shot over Gordon's crossbar. Carry to Coyle. No foul this time. Johansson. Johansson taking the direct route. Not with the finish at the end of a good run. He's very quick. He got away well from both Coyle and Denham here, but the shot disappointing. Tommy Coyne against Joachim Bjorklund. 
in for McCullough, but Andy Gorham has it. The throw for Georges Albert in yards of room. Works it on for Jonathan Johansson. Negri and McCoist in the middle. Too high for both. And George Albert's injured as he got that pass away. And this looks a bit serious for George Albert. The stretcher is out. And not looking as if he's too mobile at all. And this is a blow that Rangers could well do without. The man who's been in great form for them. Scoring goals, George Albert. And on in his place comes almost the forgotten man of Ibrox, Peter van Vossen. He hasn't had a, had a blink of first team action for about 18 months. Launched downfield for McCoist. One against two for Ali McCoist, he's against both McMillan and Denham. Gets the ball in for Marco Negri. So close, Negri kicks the post in fury there. I don't think he appreciated how good a ball that was in from McCoist. It looked as if Negri hesitated at first, and by the time he went for it, it was too late. Off the top of Alec Clellan's head, covering in behind him, was Joachim Bjorkland. Davis with the throw gets it back from Tommy Coyne first time from Kevin Christie and he got him underneath it and despite the presence of Willie Faulkner confidently held Rangers breaking quickly with the endurance Ali McCoy's made a good run foiled by the uprights Peter Van Vossen McCoy can't believe it. He made a superb run there. He was found by the Ian Durant pass, the curling left foot shot, and Stevie Woods was helpless. But back off the post. Controlled well by Tommy Coyne. Billy Davis walks it for Kevin Christie. Davis wants it again. He's got some room. Moving the ball around well, Motherwell. Good passing, good movement. Here's Owen Coyle, looking for Faulkner! <laughs> Willie Faulkner from Motherwell! Three minutes of the 90 are left. And is that a dramatic late winner for Motherwell? They were looking menacing. They were moving the ball around. In came the cross from Coyle, the diving header from Faulkner. And Andy Gorham could do nothing about it, but watch the ball nestle in the back of his neck. How damaging could this goal be for Rangers' title hopes? The Motherwell fans celebrate this could be an important result in their battle against relegation. Marco Negri against Denham. Explanations from Harry Cutman to Jim Griffin. He's not going to let him go away <laughs> before he's finished. And he must be delighted at that Willie Faulkner goal. Here's Petrich. In Durant. Looking for Negri. And it's well saved by Stevie Woods. An important stage of the game for him to take command inside his own penalty area. Vossen for Gattuso. That's a foul by Lee McCulloch. Wild challenge that by the youngster. Stevie Woods lining things up from the goal line. This is a moment when Rangers could do with Albert on the field. He, of course, was stretched off. Jonas turn over the ball. Ian Durant there as well. And Gordon Petrich. Durant wanting the wall back the appropriate distance and Bobby Tate making sure it is Durant's effort took a couple of bounces 
on its way through to Stevie Woods. Not a great problem that from Motherwell. That's full time. Willie Faulkner gets the winner for Motherwell. And Harry Cutman celebrates in his first home match as Motherwell manager. A win against the reigning champions, Rangers. Vital for Motherwell and these fans that they got the points to ease their relegation worries. But that is a real blow to Rangers' title chances. They already trail Celtic by four points, Hearts by two, and of course Celtic play tomorrow. They can widen the gap. And the Rangers players trudging off, looking pretty disconsolate as well they might. This was an important 90 minutes. And it was a match in which they've gone down to Motherwell at Fir Park by two goals to one. Well, it was a disappointing result for us. It was uh, always a tight game, a game that uh, could have gone either way. I don't think we particularly deserve to lose it, but uh, in saying that, it was the type of game that uh, if you don't take your opportunities, it could always cost you, and that's what happened to us in the end. How do you analyse the Rangers' performance? You were obviously minus a lot of influential figures. Well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, even when we've had influential figures here, it's been uh, a tight match when we come to Marvel. And that's the way it was today. We started the game well enough. And good goal by Alan McCoy. Um, you know, Mother will come back into the game as you would expect them to do just after that. Um, you know, then it evened out again near half time. Uh, it was Alan McCoy the shot off the bar. Tommy Coyne having one off the post. So I think that first half really um, showed a picture of the game. And that's the way it was played all the way to the end. Mother will manage him to get the goal. Um, Alan McCoy hitting the post again. Very few chances from either side um, really created. But, um, a tight match, and I say one more disappointed to have lost. Harry, you must be very pleased that was an important result. Yeah, you're right. Three points, is, and uh, I, I think so. We, we had quite good uh, performance also. You were, you were pleased with the way your team played. Are you surprised that Motherwell are down at the bottom of the division? When uh, now you've had a chance to assess the players? I don't want to make any speculation. Just thinking about the uh, next next week and next game and uh, it's important for us at the moment to think uh, how we can improve our performance. Celtic now have the chance tomorrow to pull further away. Um, do you feel Rangers are still in with a, a good shout here? Well I think uh, in previous seasons when we've been the team that's in the front you know nobody ever conceded anything and everybody always um, you know tried hard and fought hard to the end and obviously it's our, our turn to do that at the present moment so um, we'll just have to play away and hope for an improvement in terms of results uh, in future weeks. Without the